So now we're going to get into something pretty interesting. This is 4.4.3. We're looking at how to use factorials and binomial coefficients to count things. So the two classic examples we'll look at are the following. These are both combinatorics problems, so mathematics of counting. If I have n objects and I want to look at groups of size k, which should be, of course, less than or equal to n, and I don't care about the order within the groups, then the number of things in the number of groups of size k is n choose k, given like this. So again, this is for forming groups where I don't care what the order within groups is. If I do care about the order within groups, then I actually have a bigger number of possibilities. I have n factorial over k factorial. So in general, this is larger. So let's look at a, a couple kind of examples of this. So here's a word problem. I have 10 people at a dance, and I want to know how many ways are there to choose pairs. If I want to pair people off into groups of two, how many ways are there to do this? Well, we're looking at n equals 10 and k equals 2. So the question is, once I have a pair, does it matter what the order is? Well, I would say no, because it doesn't really matter if I put two people in a group one way or the other way. They're going to dance with each other. There's no sort of uh, hierarchy here. So we would use the binomial coefficient here, not just n factorial over k factorial. So I would say order doesn't matter. So the number of groups is equal to n choose k, so 10 choose 2, 10 factorial over 10 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So I get uh, 10 times 9 times 8, and so on. 8 times 7 times 6 times 2 there. Everything cancels on the bottom except for the 2. So I get 90 over 2, which is 45. So a little bit of a complicated argument. But as long as I knew to choose the binomial coefficient here, uh, it was essentially a matter of calculation. Another example would be one where order does matter. So let's look at this. I'm looking to count the number of triples, the number of groups of three, of letters that exist. We have 26 letters. If each letter can only be used once. So if I say unique order, then that means that order matters. So I should have n is equal to 26, k is equal to 3 because I want groups of size 3. So I have 26 factorial divided by 3 factorial. What if order doesn't matter? Then this is 26 choose 3. So 26 factorial divided by 26 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So this is very large. Uh, this is not as large. Right. So we could, of course, throw these into a calculator, but just to give you some illustration for how to compute with these, we really want to make a distinction between whether order matters or whether order does not matter.